Uh, joining me today to discuss industrial cybersecurity is Benny Tsarny from uh, Opsquad. He's the CEO and founder of Opsquad. Welcome, Benny. Uh, thank you for having me, Steve. Benny, you know, uh, what do you see as the major challenges today for industrial cybersecurity companies, or not companies, not your company, but the end users? So in critical infrastructure protection, I see several challenges in the industry. Number one is the complexity of the network. I mean, today, whenever you look at the critical infrastructure network, it's extremely complex. You have the OT, you have the IT, you have air gap networks, you have cloud, you have also specific protocols. Whenever I can diagram for you a critical infrastructure network, it's extremely complex. The second issue I'm seeing <laughs> is lack of critical infrastructure protection technologies. Whenever you are protecting our nation critical infrastructure, you know, you can't really compromise on like 99% detection. And so we see, I see lack of critical infrastructure, purposely built technologies, uh, technologies that can prevent threats, technologies that can support specific OT protocols, technologies that can detect country of origin to meet presidential orders. The third thing that I'm seeing in critical infrastructure and some of the big challenges in the market there are 423 cybersecurity certification. Neither is really training IT and OT professionals to protect critical infrastructure. So to summarize, really complex networks, lack of technologies, and lack of training. So this is, I, I believe, what the industry is very much, very much suffering now. Uh, so. Given that, what is Opswat doing to help people with those problems? All right. So, it's a, that's a, it's a very good question. I mean, what we're doing, actually, we're addressing each one of these challenges. So, to address the complexity of the networks, we're not a single product company. I mean, whenever you have a very complex network with OT, IT, AirGap, you need to go and, solution, and, and, and solve this issue with a platform. So we manufacture a platform. The platform include 21 different deployments that are supporting different parts of the network. And we have it managed in the cloud, on-prem, in AirGap as well. So we have a full platform that supports IT, OT, supports you on the conversion. That platform helps you transfer files, devices to and from your critical network. The platforms provide you asset inventory, uh, has really great usability that supports OT usability, and it supports OT protocols, and also using the technologies. So we said that the second issue is lack of technologies. So at Opswat, we have over 100 engineers that just develop purposely build critical infrastructure protection technologies. The first one, actually the first one I'm, I'm writing a book on right now, uh, is a, a content disarm and reconstruction, CDR. So it's all about a true zero trust. We don't trust the files, so we are rebuilding them. So think about the contract we, we work with Arc. We actually deleted it. We created a new one that looks exactly like the original document that we end up executing. Video files, documents, anything. So CDR is a technology we really, really, very, very much believing in. And we find very effective to, to protect critical infrastructure worldwide. We also developed other technologies such as country of origin to meet the recent presidential order, uh, technologies su such as multi-scanning. We have a purposely built sandbox for OT, the first sandbox in the world that supports OT environment. So if you have an attack on critical infrastructure, we have a, a sandbox and model analysis system to go and support that. And we have actually more than uh, 20 technologies. Many of them are patented. It's all on our website. However, again, it's purposely built critical infrastructure protection technologies. On the training, so we said 423 training. So uh, we are one of the 423. It's called Opsot Academy. Uh, Opsot Academy. Opsot Academy is the first critical infrastructure protection training that uh, takes IT and OT professionals and then they provide fundamentals in critical infrastructure protection. What is AirGap? What is a presidential order? What is NERC SIP? And also providing some high level um, information and training about technologies that we have to prevent the next cybersecurity threats. Um, so we have uh, thousands of uh, students certified on that. So what you get, you get the training and also certification on that. We're investing a lot there. 
and we're investing millions of dollars on these trainings. Uh, we have uh, professionals all around the world that contributing relevant critical infrastructure protection data. And uh, you can just go to www.opsalacademy and, and learn more about it. So what we do about it, again, we have a platform, we have technologies, and then we have training to support what we see today as big challenges in critical infrastructure protection. Uh, you know, last night I visited the cyber trailer that you brought uh. to the ARC Forum. I enjoyed it very much, by the way. Uh, can you explain why you put that together and what's the what uh, benefit that is to end users and things like that? How Great. are you using that? So the cyber trailer is one of several labs that we have uh, worldwide. So we build several critical infrastructure protection labs. Uh, number one, uh, the first reason is to train our staff about what is critical infrastructure to enable our engineers uh, our technology folks, our support folks, to truly test, build, integrate, train on critical infrastructure protection. It's, it's pretty cool, it's like uh, really simulating attacks. Uh, so we have labs in Tampa, here in our headquarters in Tampa, Florida. We have in San Francisco, we have in, uh, in Israel office, we have in Vietnam office. We have it mainly to go and train uh, uh, folks. And then we saw that there was a big demand to go and actually train folks that are not necessarily OPSET employees on critical infrastructure protection, as we invite team members to our offices. And then we took it to the next step, actually, that came during COVID, where uh, our customers could not travel. So how can we, how about we put all of the critical infrastructure protection lab on the trailer, and we bring it to our customer side, our channel partner side. Uh, we bring it uh, to events such as ARC, and thank you again for uh, uh, the opportunity to present and bring the trailer here. And uh, so this is how the, the trailer came about. It's a big success. We are like fully booked. So if somebody wants to go and book the trailer, I recommend it to go <laughs> and make it kind of, just make sure that it's in, in line, it's in the queue because uh, scheduled, we, 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 we see great, de great, great demand for that. And uh, we're making also fun. I'll bring the trailer over, bring the food truck over. Let's not make cybersecurity boring. Let's make it fun <laughs> on food, on beer sometimes. Depends on the time of day. Uh, get it, get some activities, and also what we do in the cyber trailer. What we saw, it's it's, it's very, um, uh, very productive. Uh, we we have a malware analysis system for for OT, and we let the malware explode. Actually, we take some recent malware, we 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 run it with our malware analysis system, and after that, we actually show how it actually explodes on real PLCs inside the trailer. So in the trailer, actually, you have a whole simulation of the, the PLCs and internal lights and so on. Our platform is also installed in. The first were actually simulating live events. And in many cases, and we, I saw a lot of aha moments where OT guys saw how real malware behave in OT environment and how it can really create damage. Actually, we can run ransomware inside the cyber trailer and we can show how it kills an engineering station. How, you know, how lights can, I know it can create a power outage. So, uh, and that's, that's a big aha moment as we see it, it's, it's very productive. Uh, it's out of several labs we have worldwide, and we plan to actually more surprises on that topic. As a final question, let me just ask about your future plans, and, you know, your strategic direction, and where are you headed? So, uh, I, I ran Opsort for uh, uh, 18 years, I found it, uh, 19 years, 19 years I founded the company, and I have a lot of energy to go and take it to the next level. So, I mean, I'm, uh, I see a lot of, uh, I have a lot of energy in me to go and take it to the next level. The next level for the company, is number one, the platform. So the platform continue to grow. So as we are supporting more and more needs, uh, there are a few more things that the platform is not uh, uh, doing yet. And so we're planning to go and continue to develop the, on, the, on the platform pretty much to provide end-to-end -end solution for anything, anything <laughs> that the critical infrastructure protection need from cybersecurity needs. Um, we're also developing more in the technology. So we have more of a technology arm. Uh, so we are continuing to invest. Many of the technologies needs continuous investment. We're not, we're very much believing in like perfecting technologies, which means continue investment and investment and investment. We also have a philosophy that everything that we have in the company, we are rebuilding. So every product are being rebuilt every seven years from the UI perspective and so on. Also, the technologies are being enhanced and enhanced and enhanced. Uh, on academy front, so we have uh, we plan to exceed thirty thousand uh, certified students, and also we plan to go and have an industry accreditation for the academy. We plan to have more announcements around that. 
So mainly we are focusing now on go-to-market. So we have uh, over six, uh, we have close to 600 employees right now. So uh, and we are planning to invest much more in go-to-market. So we have really great growth. I mean, we have like 35% growth uh, uh, last year, and then so showing some light profit. Uh, so we plan to continue to maintain that uh, despite everything. We're relatively immune to what's happening in the economy. I think we can actually increase the growth by investing more in marketing, go-to-market. Uh, investing a lot in our channel partners. I mean, most of our sales today is with our channel partners. We're not planning to go and change it much more uh, to enable the channel partners with sales enablement tools, with uh, uh, tools and benefits and also recruitment tools for more channel partners in, in uh, OT space. Um, uh, and then uh, another thing we're planning to do is to go IPO. I, I believe that critical infrastructure protection a company needs to be a public company, especially whenever we are a platform company. We're not like another, like AV or Firewall. We have a full platform around it. I see that uh, many critical infrastructure will feel more comfortable to purchase product solutions, training technologies from a publicly traded company. Uh, and also I find uh, the, uh, an IP or a public company a great marketing platform to things that we do. Um, okay. And, I'm, so I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. But no, that's okay. So this is kind of in high level the in high level the plans, and uh, obviously you can go more details to each one of these topics. Okay. Well, thank you, thank you, Benny, for yeah. talking with me today. Great. Thank you, Sid, for having me. Uh, we've been speaking today with Benny Tsarny, of uh, the CEO of Opswat. Thank you for watching.